What's up, what's up? WTMA Podcast here with a uh, couple of the ODP fellows. What's up, guys? Hey, what what's up, good, dog? man? It's your boy Nirvana Nash. Y'all already know what it is. What up, dog? It's Mike Nash. Nasty, you know what time it is. Word, word. I follow the podcast, WTMA Podcast. That's everywhere. Follow myself, LL Pooh Torrance. Can they find you guys at? Um, you can find me at Nirvana Nash underscore ODP on Instagram. Um, you can find me at uh, Nash underscore Nirvana on Twitter uh, and Nirvana Nash on Facebook. Nirvana Nash on all streaming services. Uh, check out that Cobain and mixtape out right now. Um, you can always catch me at Nasty underscore RDP at Instagram, Mike Nash on Facebook, RDP Nasty, you know, same thing, it'll, it'll, it'll link me up on Facebook, I ain't on Twitter, but besides that, Nasty, Mike Nash, Overdog on everything else. At Real RDP on IG, go check us out right there. Search them on uh, YouTube as well. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. I was looking, I walked through, I said, that's that four bands, nigga. Four bands. <laughs> four bands. <laughs> bands nigga. Yes. Yes. You do is. say four bands, too, somewhere. Nigga. I do, I do. So, I, I went all the way wrong. First but, line. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, this all became, because, uh, I don't even know what the hell, somebody asked, oh, you said something about um, Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry. Yeah. He was a pedophile or somebody's credit. That's just my <laughs> thing. Like, I felt like Chuck Berry. He not know, gonna get the credit he do because he a pedophile. But all of them niggas was pedophiles. I'm saying you can look at it like that, but he also is the one who's alive and still doing pedophile shit. Now, see, I didn't know that part. That's the whole point about it. How old is he? 83? A thousand. He's, yeah, he like, so he like, let's say he... he no, he probably like 86, 87. So he's no. somewhere between 86, 87 and, and a thousand. Yeah. So, like, you want to say he's 70 years, years old. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> so he's still messing with him. <laughs> he messed with him. From what I, from what I had seen in the news that was reported on him, my man was out there uh, uh, taking pictures of little chicks and shit like that. So, yeah, he a pedophile. That's the reason. And he was <laughs> accused of that shit to begin with. Regardless of that shit, was discredit that nigga at night. He fucked up. You, well, don't, you know you done fucked up, right? I will say this. I did not know that part. All I was saying was, was Chuck Berry, you know, is responsible for modern day music in my mind. Because without Chuck Berry, we don't get James Brown. Without James Brown, we don't get... Like Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder, maybe. We don't get a lot of people if we don't get yeah. that form of music. I, I definitely understand what you're saying because Chuck Berry was the uh, first, like, quintessential rock entertainer. Yeah, rock and roll. Been rock like, and roll. For, yeah, but he was the first real entertainer who came out there and that was really, <laughs> it was more about the pizzazz that he showed than it was about anything else. And I get it, but he never gonna get that credit. To where he should be, and that was that was mainly my point. He should. He should. Yeah, that's, 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 but that's, that's my. That, he, he should. That was my point to begin with. Wasn't to say like uh, Chuck Berry isn't this person. It's to say like he never gonna be this person in everybody's eyes because of these reasons. No, I, that's the. I yeah, didn't know that part. All yeah. I, I didn't know that part. So Pete, dog, that's the same reason. Eventually, one day R. Kelly not gonna get his just due. He get his just due from us because we've lived that. We've lived the R. Kelly. Mike was the only cat no, who was able to live and through it. Through it because uh, because because it's a whole lot of bullshit involved with Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. I used to believe that he did it until until you hear it, it was like so many people. yeah, so many of these kids coming out saying they was pressured into saying yeah. that he did it. You know, it was like a, I don't know if it was both the twins or like one of the twins or something that committed suicide. You know, because he was like, he couldn't live with the fact that he basically was helping destroy Michael Jackson for no fucking reason. See, now, Although, because we still got to say, nigga, you wildin'. Why was you hanging with children? Yeah. I yeah. love kids. Right. I'm not but hanging hold with up, children hold at up. all. To jump ship a little bit. To jump ship a little bit. On this whole uh, new era king of R&B thing mm. that people have been talking about. Mm. What? What is really the thing about that whole that whole situation? Cause with Jack, with Jack Keith coming out and saying he's oh, a new, 
I'm going to just ask you this. Both of you two. We're going to cut this segment real short. Boom. When was the last time you ever gave a shit about what Jacquees said? I never, I never first started he giving a fuck. So I don't care. care. Yeah. It's even kicking our feet. Good. And I mean, credit. Okay, okay. listen. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me right, preface right. that with this. I don't got a problem or no, Jacquees, bro. You, he a young nigga. He and ain't he's both of And, and. I don't necessarily know if it's what you're supposed to say, but what I'm going to just say is this. Like, bro, I don't have a problem with it, but just don't disrespect okay. it. That's cool. Was he? Did, now, here's another thing, because I don't know, because I don't give a shit about Jacquees. So, did somebody ask him? Or was no, he like, no, no, he, he just, no, he just came out and was just like, of this new generation, I'm the king. I mean, I'm dude. the new hip hop. I mean, I'm the new uh, R&B. I figured that he's trying to, Takashi 6 ix 9 his way. He just gonna you know come out saying this shit. They already eat so people. who is the king of R and B right, right now? now? Of the new, right now, of the new generation, of the new niggas. It's still like, and, and I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not speaking to cats like it's still you know of people who gonna say like Tank and people like that who like real R and B people. It. Like Drake, I'm Drake's just, the king of R and B right now. No, it's 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 Drake. Chris, it's Chris, or it's Tory Lanez. I you think. might be on the, Drake because majority of people who come out with R and B right now. It sound like Drake. G, you know this for a fact. I normally always say like the Scorpion City. My favorite part is the B side, and I always like Drake as an R and B artist better than I liked him when he started rapping. I, 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 cool I never, I never gave a shit about. But what you was trying to say, G? I'm just, I, I was just trying to see some input on it because I wanted to see what. That's my, that's my, that's my opinion. But Drake. I think Chris Breezy. Breezy. I think that what he can do and what he brings to the show and on top of I that he can actually sing. If I he can sing. And Tori, bro. Yeah, Tori is amazing, amazing bro. It. You got to be underneath the age of at least 30 at this point to be the new generation king of R&B. For sure. It's, it's new generation. I don't know nobody age, but um, Chris, I know Tori's on the. I feel like yeah. why why ain't nobody mentioning uh, like somebody like Eric Bellinger or something like that. Eric Bellinger just as just far as R and B. Why well, well, my my thing, thing, my thing, my point about it was why why, why, why isn't is nobody is Tory Lane, why isn't Tory nobody is mi- mentioning the white artists? Oh, don't get into that. We we R and B right now. We don't want to get into that. To fit to fit your category, who? Justin Timberlake. He, they don't fit your category. You're over thirty. Sam Smith. I don't listen. To no, him. fuck Sam Smith. Um, fuck um, Sam Smith. 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 Sam after he said, oh, I don't like a lot of Michael Jackson songs, but this one I like, yeah, you kind of messed up, bro. I don't care if that's really your opinion, but in the type of music you make and in the, in, in the climate that you was in, you kind of messed Man, up. Man, let people have an opinion. That's like, cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. But my G, but my G, don't be out there singing songs like Mike. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, I, 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 I mean, I mean, if, if you like, but Aaron I Jones. ain't really mess with him, but he got that good song. Like Billy Jean, I really like that one. You can still, I feel like you can still feel that way. Just don't be disrespectful. For sure. Yeah. That, you can have an opinion, just don't be disrespectful on that shit. Cause it's kind of like the young age doing the same thing to the old cats that we keep on saying that they doing to us, basically. Yeah. Like, we going hurts. back and we saying, like, oh, well. No, I don't like this shit. This shit, I don't get why y'all fuck. That's why I try to give it a, I try to give shit a chance before yeah. I call it whack. True, because everybody is on sicko mode again all of a sudden. When Travis Scott album first came out, I remember I got on Twitter. I just seen everybody tweet about sicko mode, sicko yeah. mode, sicko mode. I was like, oh man. I was like, I seen Drake. I was like, oh man, this might be good. <laughs> but I was like. I kept, because everybody was like posting these GIs, like when the beat changed, I kept waiting for the beat to change for me to feel like this GIF was. It never happened, so I was like, yeah. Um, I think that they could have It's an alright song, but it was just like, man. I think the song would have been better without the Drake parts on it. Man. Like, with just, talk with just the Travis Scott uh, part. I, 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 I like it. I just didn't. It wasn't what everybody else like, and then it's not now, close it, to the best song on that CD. Now, hell, um, hell no, hell no. But like, now that everybody um, hates Kanye, and now, and now that it's coming out that that verse was the verse was about Kanye, maybe or whatever, who the fuck? That's fine, yeah. cool, right? I I don't I don't not like it, 
It's just like I never want to hear this man talk tough again. I just don't ever want to hear one? Drake talk. Drake. They, 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 no, they said that the sycamore, sycamore versus. Well, no, the no, they were talking about on, on Joe Blood. Only thing I can say is this: all of that shit is a fucking ploy, and I don't care, bro. Like, if you gonna keep telling me that these two niggas of all the niggas is the niggas that's gonna fight or gonna be the niggas that show send shooters at niggas, that's you got right. me all the way. If you telling me you can literally make a right and then re at this nigga house and y'all ain't already fought. Then we already have a problem. I don't think that it's that deep. But it's anyway. Drake just rapping. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. Drake that's just... cool. But Kanye, did you see Kanye act like it's so serious? That's like my G. Kanye got an album coming. Yeah. Oh, and new shoes. Hopefully, and I'm hopefully, getting, hopefully and I'm okay. hold up, hold up. Hopefully, because wasn't the album I, supposed to come out? I, 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 I have two months ago. Kanye has pushed me to the point where, because it used to just be, all right, I don't. I don't care about what he's doing as long as the music, as long as the music, as long as the music. And then the music ain't being, so I'm, I'm man, just, I'm, I ain't, next album, next album, ain't not I may not, not no music. I, man, not, I think that music. he just stringing us along. That's word for me. Kanye ain't putting out no music. And if he do, it's going to be another seven track EP or something like that. I, I'm saying on a music basis and just speaking of that, I just look at it like, Kanye West not the same person that he was five years ago, six years ago. I think he is. I think this is just the next step up. Every time it was always, you know, it was always something. You know, it was all. It always had. I to be feel something. like the last two CDs have been worse than the majority of the projects. Yeah, I agree before. because he don't got the same niggas writing for him no more. So well, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest so, with you. Uh, Saha's still there, but Saha, like, bro, I know that after he put out his CD and I heard with Saha in his final, his project, it's like, bro, this is the nigga that's been writing for Kanye, and this nigga been giving this nigga nothing but fucking fire, and this nigga still got enough bars I mean, to go crazy. Here's, he just pissed off probably one of his, the one who had him where he was now, and that's Travis Scott. Oh, so, man. And yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know what's going on with uh with Chance. Chance if Chance ain't fucking with Kanye, we don't I don't know what this next album gonna sound like. But once again, I personally I don't care because I'm not even interested in music no more. Like I, I whatever Kanye, like, I don't care. That's fine. Like people say, Oh, I never I didn't listen to Kids He Ghost. I don't Oh, I ain't listen to that bullshit anymore. I got this it was just okay. I listen I listen to Yay. I listen to Kids I listen to um, and Kid Cudi is Still, kid, could I listen to um, Yikes? I like Yikes, and um, I like the joint with Lil Pump, and I like uh, what's the other one? Uh, Ecstasy. Ecstasy was hard as hell. To me. I don't like none of the new music that Kanye West been coming out with. I ain't gonna hold you up. Life of Pablo had two good songs. No, no, Life of Pablo. When that nigga did, even see that's the that's the problem. I want to see Yeezus and this trash. No, Yeezus was garbage, except for uh, not black skinheads. But um, listen to listen to Yeezus and think of it as Travis Scott. Oh, it is. It no. is Travis. I've it, done it. It's, 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 it's Travis it's, Scott's production. I mean, it's not it. him right now. It, no. Even Asian pussy, y'all need a sweet and sour sauce. Whatever you say, eat. put that it put my fist there like a peace sign. Come on, I'm man. cool. I like, got that, that shit. I'm like cool. if you listen to um the couple the couple actually rapping verses. Travis Scott got on Cruel Summer. That's listen. That it, that sounds like Kanye. The best his. song on Cruel Summer is fucking Tiana Taylor and John Legend. So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> 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 if you listen, why you not even know? I love that song. But if you listen to how Travis Scott raps on that album, and then you listen to how Kanye raps on. Jesus. Oh, it, it, it sounds the exact fucking same. I'm not. I'm not. But I'm not saying that yet. Uh, he don't. Definitely. So he may not have um, chance. He may not have. Uh, um, who we just talked about? God damn it. Um, Kid Cudi. Like, yeah. No, no, no. Um, Travis Scott. Travis Scott. He may not have Travis Scott no more. Um, he been lost. Uh, um, Cudi. Uh, what's um? Saha. Uh, 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 Saha still there. I can't think of. Um, Push the T still, still there. there. Yeah, yeah. If, He's not writing for Kanye. Though. Oh, you talking about Ryan Fest? Ryan Fest. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, but Ryan Fest came back. Ryan Fest already apologized. What about consequence? Consequence. Consequence ain't writing for Kanye for years. Man.
Well, because nowadays, that type of music that Kanye needed to come in with because he had the hook game in the bag, in the, in the production game in the bag, he needed bars. And at that point, when he was coming in, he needed them bars. Now, you don't need that type of shit really to survive in music for real. You I mean, just need to be able to make dope-ass tracks with dope-ass beats behind them. That's it. I mean, it, it all depends because... I'm like I'm a little different. I don't, I don't ever listen to the radio. No, I see, um, and that's, I, that's know, I listen I, to talk radio twenty four seven. I don't. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a lot the of best stuff, part of music is it's like he can put it out or whatever. You can put it out or whatever. Like I may not even. <laughs> like, it can just go by the wayside. Like, I could just. I love how life is now. You could just never listen to stuff. Yeah. Like, you can never. I never listen to a Meek Mill album. And that's not a diss. I just was never just like, oh, what's with me? Never got never. Never. That's what I was about to never got kind heard. of get into. Was just like, uh, even though I still plan to listen to this one, but the, the championship or whatever it's called. But you can listen to what you want to nowadays. Yeah, like that's all that matters. Like you ain't gotta like listen to somebody and be like, oh yeah, I fuck with this person. It don't matter. But that's what I'm saying. Like, so Kanye could put out whatever. It could just be good to me. Like the music. In my opinion, wasn't good, but a lot of people liked it, so and that's cool too. I just won't listen. But that kind of oversaturate the market in a way. And it, I think, I don't know if other people had this kind of thought, but to see where Jay Z going, like Jay Z ain't never stopping with this rapping shit problem. We all never got to talk about. And that. now we see, <laughs> you, should. you know what I'm saying? We see what the hell, and not to ever say that we should ever have put them on the same level, or whatever. But it was like, you know, as far as status or togetherness whatever it was like they they, they did well together and you, they was always around each other but yeah you see the separation you see the separation from jay-z and everybody but you really see the separation between them two i just feel like you know sometimes with hove man and well jay-z uh a businessman yeah it's not he was the creative he's a creative he's a music he's, he's a he's a producer in every sense of the word like that's what he wants to do. I'm saying yeah, but he he a creative. He just want to go in there and do what he want to do. Jay Z he about making money. He about PR. He about marketing. He about strategy. He about stuff like that. That's not Kanye Forte. I can't say Jay Z ain't no creative. Oh, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying he's not creative. Look, Jay Z my favorite. He 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 the best rapper that's ever lived. But <laughs> at the end of the day, Jay Z is. Businessman. I think Jay Z is the best rapper of all time. But do you think it's anybody else to be in the argument? Just as far as yes. rapping goes. Yes. Okay, who you say? Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would disagree with that, but okay. I have to put Jay Cole in that category too. And then Alright. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, no no no. As far okay. as who Jay Z is. Because y'all probably gonna make a face of who I say. Jay Z he, what he did for the culture and shit like that, like that's why I wanted to say just rapping. Okay. Just as far as rapping, All right. as far as that's what separated. Okay, him. that's what separated him. Where, where Jay Z took rap. But at but. at the end of the day, that's also kind of what go into it, cause like bar for bar, as what they're doing in I think, it, I think it's a few in melody. I think it's a few like that, that go into in the, it in the in the. Who do you think? My number one contender. Not saying he is the best, but. Is Lupe as no. far as, as far as rhyming words? Right. I think I think we should give Lupe the credit that we all try to give Eminem. All right, so when everybody says Eminem is the greatest rhymer of words, okay, but if he says back about, into back into and all that other shit. One of the best lyricists of this generation, yes, of all time. We put we put Lupe we are definitely anything putting with anything Lupe else and make yes, it all make sense. into that picture. But when we talking about a Jay Z status of person, you, a you, Jay Z rapper, no, 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 so what I'm gonna tell you is this about Hov. The thing that I feel about Hov is that the pictures in the real life and the action and what he's trying to say is you and y'all both keep combating about the business. It's the fact that he talked about the business that he was going to make, no. and then he made it. It's not but that's for that one was he for had me. Been as, doing it, though. But it's not about a but, business thing. It's about replayability. Yeah, and, and oh, you, well, that, you look show at me Jay what you Z. got. You go back through 
Big when pimping. You, when you look at Jay Z and you look at the replayability that he had throughout his career, and you look at the replayability that people like Kendrick Lamar and J Cole have over people like Lupe Fiasco, you cannot go against it and say like they on the same on the same level. Rapping. Yes, rapping. That's all I'm saying. As far as the ability but to rap on rapping. the beat. That That's goes into rapping. Hey, know, how no, much no, no, you want to hear somebody back, and how much you want to hear that nah, him rap those I bars think, I think again? That, that goes I into mean, that goes into that the music they go make. Into I like Wale can fucking rap. I hate listening to Wale. I don't think that's the truth. I think Wale can't rap. I think that I just don't. Wale like got hella songs. But that's the case. MF Boom is one of the greatest uh, rappers. And don't true, period. True. But what you just said, replayability and all this other stuff, it kind of goes into. That's why I just want to say just rapping. It's rapping. Just rapping. It's just a rapping. lot of rappers who are better. It's than a lot. Everybody. It's a lot of great rappers. For sure. Right, well, honestly, honestly, bro, most oh, niggas. Yes. Honestly, niggas would like, rather listen to the game and Fifty Cent than listen to Jay. You open niggas Pandora's box when okay. you say I mean, when like you that. say that shit, it'll be like Wayne is gonna be the number one nigga that everybody say. Who you ever listen to Jay? Nah, you gonna call to go? So them two, two pop, them the only so two people they they gonna say. Pop, and I then think, pop, I think and this conversation doing? is changing again and again and again. All I'm talking about is rapping. rapping. I'm not talking about popularity and who's going to say this. Is rap. this. I'm talking if about it's just rapping, rapping and their hoes. That, that's all I'm saying. That's yeah. all I'm saying. It, yeah. it, it, like I, I do agree that there are a lot of people or some people that should be in this. Only I mean, thing that another I one I say is probably Roy. If it's rapping, Royce is nasty. Look, but the only other person is. Uh, uh, Black Thought. Black Thought is the Black only other nigga he's that a, he's can rap. So. See, y'all talking about a specific way of rapping, though. Yeah. I mean, y'all not talking that's about that's y'all talking about like not. that real because if somebody, type if somebody nigga wanted to say, rapping. No, it's not like, somebody that's a Scarface. Real. I don't. You can't name me ten rappers who's better uh, rapping than Scarface. But then to I me. say Kendrick, and then that's. Out of the picture. No, it's not but because Hard is one is of the best. Rappers. I just didn't uh, think. I just. Don't I like Jay Hard better, better than Kendrick. I put mm-hmm. both of them up there. I like Jay Cole better. Than Kendrick. Kendrick at this Cole point. a better rapper, but Kendrick just look better. He makes songs, bro. He like and he good at it. this point. You know what? I take that back. I take that back. Spectrum of things. I go Kendrick and then Jay Z. What about KLB? Period. KLD sound like a Kendrick album. <laughs> Play it back and listen to what it. What a light skin nigga on the hood. That sounds like Kendrick. But they've been doing the same thing. It sounds like thing. in the background. A lot of them sound like Oh, uh, man. But no Rihanna. If I don't have no Rihanna hook or no Rihanna verse, so that's not it. I'm giving all my radio playoff just me. At the How end much crazier is that? At the end of the day, the only other person that you can really put up on to Jay-Z's level at this point on what he's doing and it's what great. he does no and what he does musically, especially at the age he is, it's probably Chance the Rapper. And a lot of people gonna say he's corny and he this and he that, but that's the only person you can Well Chance went out on a ledge and did this shit and then when niggas say, Oh, you went and gave five hundred thousand for your, for Apple to butch your shit out for a week, like nigga what the fuck you expect? I've been doing this shit by myself the whole time. So I can understand. Why that. do we care about that? Like, why does that matter? Like, that, I, but, I, I never got the beef. But, that. that's but that's, but that's, but that's what niggas right. look at. Oh, you not independent? Niggas just want to throw Who stones. Cares? Niggas want to throw stones just because. And I don't believe in that shit because it's just like a nigga. If the you, moment you I go gotta, upload this video and a thing pop up and YouTube says, "Hey," or what's a competitor to YouTube? Ain't one probably, huh? Let's say if uh, Facebook says, hey. Vimo, Vimo, Vimo. <laughs> <laughs> If you watch any videos on Vimo, you a ham. Mine ain't on here. Well, whoever, whoever's a competitor, like a Facebook, Facebook TV say, Boop. hey, we want to let you post this on our shit for two months for $500,000. Cool, I don't give a fuck. They're like, you ain't independent. So the fuck what? I don't but care. Bro, they just put it over there for a while. The contract was for a week. The nigga didn't sign over his soul. That nigga didn't sign over his rights Even or nothing like did. that. No, fuck that. I mean, 500000 for what he did. No. But for a week? Hell yeah. I just did all the beats and did everything that I was supposed to. And it's going to... And after that, I get all the money after the hits from the five... From, from the week. After that, this nigga CD was up being number one for like 62 I don't weeks. Know. I, I, at the end of the day, I think that it's a specific type of rapper that you're looking to put into this category. And if you're going down that route... 
It's a no, lot. It's a nigga that you want to see. A nigga yeah. that rapped a certain way. A nigga that got a certain voice. A nigga that the girls like. Like it's that person. What? I, I see what you're saying, but I think I think that um, it's still a little bit different than just as far as like rapping goes. I like how we you know we all was saying like the you know like the MF Doom just the rappers, rappers. Maybe that. Maybe that's what we talking about. But I see what you. I just don't see how you don't think Kendrick Lamar isn't. Um, no, no, and, I, and that's, I actually want to take that back because once again, I keep just thinking about the shit that's you know the shit that's kind of big and all that other stuff. Um, I forget about before um, he was big butterfly, and all that stuff. No, and I, I know no, Section Eighty. Yeah, I know about Section Eighty and the, uh, the over dedicated. I know about all that shit. Nah. I remember when I tried to put people on the song where he cough at the end of it. The, the when he started no, running off fast shit. Uh, you talking about, you talking about, yeah, no, that's not, that's not, that, yeah, it's the, uh, the Roots beat. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ain't that when he started calling at the end? Whichever one he started calling at the end, I remember playing in Champs, and niggas would laugh at me. So, yeah, I know about that. Hey, niggas said that niggas was going to see Kendrick, and it was five niggas different at one point in time in the D. I seen niggas throwing tomatoes. I know how I feel. I was there. Niggas throwing tomatoes to see if you can. Niggas brought groceries. They had a produce. They had a produce. You know how mad I would be if I was anywhere and I got hit with a fucking. Oh no, we don't know. Anywhere outside of a place where tomatoes are sold. I fuck with our future more than I fuck with a lot of you motherfucking industry niggas. And I know that shit broke up now, but guess what? So, okay, okay, so hold up. So, off of of that, so who is the new era leader right now in in rap? Going off of this whole music thing and going off of this whole Jacquees thing, who's the new era, like, rap niggas? Who's coming up? Who you think? Um, Probably Kendrick. Like his label T D. Kendrick thirty two though. Oh shit, so what's the age then? What are we talking about then? I'm just saying like who I'm sorry. I would say like, like let's say twenty eight and under. Who give me some rappers that I don't know ages. Shit. I might be lost on that. Because I don't I don't listen to them. Because the, the the only people that you know, would be like Juice there. World, Twenty One Seven, yeah, yeah, I was just like Logic, Logic and you know, all them niggas are like thirty one. Logic, 31? Yeah. Get this nigga the fuck out of here, bro. Like that nigga 31. be out there looking like a point <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> out of here, bro. I stopped listening to Logic. I'm saying, th- I'm saying Chance. And I'm saying Chance still young. Charles Gambino. Oh. Would it be them Baby and Gunna? All them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, bro. I ain't going to lie. I don't That's know. A, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Absolutely. For some reason. I don't to I'm the one who asked this question, and I thought I had an answer. It, it, well, it is chance technically, but I don't know. I like Earl sweatshirt, but the nigga just be doing some some shit that I just don't understand. Sometimes I wish might be me. Mm-hmm. If know. not, uh, bling blah wow. Chain, chain on skateboard P. Shout out my nigga Riz Lee. Shout out my nigga uh, Say Ray. Shout out my nigga Titty Nate. Fuck it, we it may be any one of us. I don't know, but niggas need to start coming out with them bars. Because I'm sick of it always being Hove and Nas and So what, Joey Jesus. Badass? In, in, in the category of people that you would think, would it be like a Joey Badass or like a... Uh, who even in his category? Joey Badass music. It's like Jonah Lucas. Them niggas Jordan can rap. Lucas. Yeah. Uh, I like... I like. Some of what I heard from Tory Lanez rap. Bro, I keep so, telling niggas. I so, said it earlier. Tory Lanez got bars, bro. I can't good. get diggy with Tory Lanez rapping, bro. I can't lie. It's all right. It's all right. You can bro, play with Tory around. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's cool. Party next door. He a Bow Wow type like, nigga to me. So oh, I just can't damn. Fuck with him. He a bow wow type nigga. Where he just especially when he was eating that burrito and he was like And he was eating that bro Say <laughs> dog Tori hey. if we ever meet bro I need to I need some more info on why you was doing that. Cause it's the funniest <laughs> shit to me in the He world. gonna bite you. Oh he might. But 
That's okay. If after the fight we can be friends and then he can tell me why, that would be amazing. That's funny. Word. Then I can say I fought Troy Lanes and now we friends. Boom. Fighting ain't a bad thing. I won two things in one day. <laughs> Fighting ain't oh, a bad thing. That nigga's five six. He gonna beat you that nigga is not beating me up at all. I seen that nigga jump shot. He can't hold. I will smack so, that nigga in his bald head, bro. I don't think y'all play basketball though. He gonna he gonna beat you up and take your hoodie off. He thirty four. All right, thirty four. No, I'm trip kicking that nigga, bro. <laughs> he is a rapper. That changes things because I feel like because he, he make like the younger. I don't know how old he is. This is ambiguous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Siri, how old is Tory Lanez? Oh, he's 26. Shit, he might have a run for his money. <laughs> so now it's his back. Okay, so yeah, he's okay. Yeah, it's back to normal. But he got alopecia or something. What the fuck they got to do with So his immune system weak. So I'm beating that nigga ass off bail. <laughs> what? What is that piece when you can't grow hair? I, I, something. <laughs> <laughs> what if? What if? You know how Daredevil can't see, right? So everything else is powerful. Fuck Daredevil, what if, man. What if he can't grow hair, so everything else is powerful. So like his muscles grow twice as strong as his hair. We know we oh, see because his hair is about that big. Talk to me, baby. That nigga <laughs> like a better <laughs> peanut just for <laughs> <with> the neck. <laughs> That nigga Troy Lane. I don't want to talk to him. Troy Lane. He got that. You got it. You can beat him up. I don't hey. want to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> I suplex that nigga. <laughs> I'm bullshit, man. All right. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I guess we're ending here. Uh, thank you guys for letting me come through for this. Um, where can they find you guys at again? Shit, you can find me at Nasty underscore RDP. IG Mike Nash on Facebook. You know what it is. Man, you can find me at um at Nirvana Nash underscore ODP on Instagram at Nash underscore Nirvana on Twitter. Follow us at Real ODP on Instagram. Shout out my boy Titty Boy Nate, Say Ray, uh, Rizzly, all ODP crew. Y'all already know what it is, man. Trying to make the moves. Uh, Overdose Productions on YouTube. Um, check us out on all streaming, Nirvana Nash, Overdope, all of that good jazz, man. We on everything you can think of. Just put in Overdope, Nirvana Nash, everything gonna come up. Promise you that. Follow the podcast, WTMN Podcast. Um, search and subscribe on YouTube TV. <laughs> Follow myself, LL Cool Torrance. That's everywhere. Uh, shout out to Fly Young. This is a Fly Young hat, but labels on the back. Um, thank y'all. Peace.